Hey guys, it's Leish here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just doing a very chill artist haul from Supernova 2021. I know this is so well overdue. I hope you still enjoy this video anyways, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. This I think is a package I got for Casey. So I got a few things. Um, this print I loved so much. And I got one for myself and one for Casey. And that is by uh, Voxelis. So that's their details there. I'll try and link in the description below. So I got that one for myself and I got one for Casey. I basically made her a little care package. Casey Meg, my friend, she's dealing with some health stuff at the moment and I thought it'd be nice to get her some cute stuff. This, I'm gonna open this. It's just a cute um, like little holographic really keychain with like a, a regular one there and then a shiny one on that side. A little keychain line thing. I just thought that was cute. So yeah, um, I also got her this little pin. It's of a greyhound and I tried to find the one that's closest to her greyhound's color. It's a charity one as well. And that's by Beth Paro. They have an Etsy store. Um, but yeah, really cute. Um, a very nice vinyl spiral sticker. I've got to look up who the artist is. It's a little bit jumbled because like not everyone had a business card or not everyone had like gave you things in a little sleeve. And this is so cute. This is a little, um, it's Eggs and Baby who are Kitten Witch's cats. Kitten Witch and Shelly, Lunchhead, my God. Um, and this was his first convention. So I wanted to support him and also just really cute and sparkly and just, yeah. Also from Kitten Witch, uh, some more holographic lemonade stickers. This is really cute. You don't know how bright you shine. And a little pride sticker with Kitten Witch sitting on a moon with rainbow colored clouds. I just thought it was so cute. This is also available as a pin, which I was meant to pick up, but I completely forgot. And I also ran out of money very quickly at conventions. I think these are by Iron. I leafy. They don't have any branding on it. So some Animal Crossing stickers. And then there are some electric poke little sticker sheet that I thought Casey would like. And then a couple of prints of um, a Yamper from Ricky Boyd. At least they got their name signed there. But yeah, little postcard prints. I thought they were cute. But I'm hoping she likes that. So I have to give that next time I see her. Uh, Daddy bought me some stickers as well. So we've got a little ghost ghost trio with Gengar Haunter and Ghastly and then we've got some Genshin stuff this is Kaya from Genshin Impact which is a game I've been playing lately and also Venti from Genshin Impact how cute so they're by Bot Twins I got another one of these pins so it is a black greyhound with some little white paws and white mouth I got this for my friend Lauren, who owns a greyhound who looks like this, and his name is Dazza. So yeah, and again, charity pin, so I wanted to support that. Also from Kitten Witch and Lunchhead, I got some washi tape. So this is a Kitten Witch one. Um, it's just got like some very autumn witchy vibes to it, which I like. And I got the koi washi tape myself as well. Actually, I can open this one and show you. But it's just a cute, like, underwater koi tape with some um, lily pads on there. I thought that was really cute. Here's some random stickers that Danny got me. Got some Animal Crossing, got Raymond, got Flick and a little Vaporeon. I might, I might add in Flick to Casey's little care package because I know that she really likes Flick. This is really cute. Again, another little thing that Danny got me. Um, we like to buy each other surprises at conventions. So this is by Renata Payton, Patton. Um, it's just really cute. So this is a sticker, but it's of like a Posca piece on um, a paint palette, paint sample. I've done this before, but not like Posca markers, I don't think on them. But this is so cute. So it's a nice big sticker. I'm gonna add that to my sticky collection. And the next, uh, I've got a couple of these sticker sheets to myself, which I think I already have this one from like last year, but I got it anyway because they're so cute. So the Diddy Evolutions and then the Water Pokes for myself. I just thought they were so cute. Such clean, lineless stuff. So yeah. Oh yeah, there's Peach Cops business card. I got a couple of these stickers for myself. Got a little Fire Terrarium one with Growlithe and Volpix. So cute. 
and then the little grass to roam as well. And these are on clear stickers, which I think is so cute. Oh, and this is my peach cot as well. So cute little mud kips, and I think these are clear. Um, Danny got these for me, and I'm like, yes, more stickers. You know what I like, boy. Um, and so this is by Art of Alice, and it's a cute little post. It does like it's vinyl. So that's cute, a cute little vinyl one. More kitten witch stuff that I forgot about. Cute little sticker sheets. If you don't follow Kitten Witch, definitely go check them out. Kitten Witch and the Bad Vibes, they make wholesome, cute content around mental health and pride. Well, this is a beautiful dragon iron on patch, but they've got their name there, which is so good. So that's my role. Illustrations, um, I got this little seconds pin. There you go, it says Be Imaginative. It's a little cute seconds pin that was very cheap. So I was like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> a little dragon charm. It's got little flowers on there. And on the back, it's like a red dragon. I love me some dragons, so I had to get that. Oh yeah, and then with that, they had these sticker sheets as seconds as well. I think it's $35 for like a big sticker sheet. That's from that artist. Yeah, and they have an Etsy and stuff as well. So go check them out if you like dragons. So this is some more stuff that Danny got me. These are by Pix King. Um, I love their business card, that's so cute. <laughs> Little Lapras with a mlem. These are little Growlithe with a Malem. Um, a Nidoran, very cute. A Geralt going, hmm, I think this is for Danny. I think he bought this for himself. And a little stubborn looking Charmeleon. So that is their business card. Okay, a little blue dragon, a Spyro one, a white dragon. I wish I had bought more stuff from them actually. Wherever you can, guys, put branding on your stuff. So I got a couple of these washi tapes. So they are the electric, the water, and is that, no, there's poison, sorry. Poison and what looks like pink fairy. I collect washi tape and I love supporting other artists. These were a bit expensive. I actually had the cheapest washi tape at the convention for $5 a roll. Um, everywhere else was basically like $10. So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Maybe I just underpriced myself, but um, yeah, this is a washi tape. I don't know the artist because this is what Danny got me. So a very cute um, foil Sailor Moon washi tape. I just thought it was so cute. A little package now. So I bought this myself and I asked them to put their business card in there. I saw, oh my God, I saw this and I was like, I have to have this. It is a little wooden charm with a kitsune or a fox on there and a little red strap. And I just thought this was so cute. Hadn't seen this before and it feels pretty like durable. So I'm hoping that'll stay. So I might put that on my little backpack. Also, like, I don't know where I'm putting all these charms that I bought. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I don't normally buy any. I couldn't resist. This is so cute. And it's just, it really inspires me. The same artist also did a whole bunch of sticker sheets with like themed drinks and snacks and stuff. So I got this Moonlight one. Oh, it's got, they've got their name on there, um, Vinny Cha. And I had to get this, oh, it's nice quality. A Zao print, Zao's one of my favorite characters in Genshin. I don't have him, but um, I think it looks amazing. And I'm getting terrible lighting happening at the moment. Sorry about that, guys. So, oh, I think there was two artists. That's right, there was two artists on the table. So they put both their business cards in there. That's a super cute business card. Um, an artist there. So maybe they did the print and the other one did the designs because they do look a bit of a different style. And very cute boba business card for um, Vinny Shah, Vinita Panakris. Oh my God, wait, are they? Oh, are they like sisters? That's so cute. Very cute, um, super cute artists. Love their stuff. Go check them out. Next, I was so excited about this. This was from Okay, my friend Bob, uh, also known as Rushla on Twitch, uh, internet sensation Rushla, got me this. Thank you, Lighting, for being terrible. But it is the Nightmares and Visions book. He's got this and one other one that were probably done through, I think, Kickstarter, but I, it was back when I was in uni, I had no way to support Kickstarters then. So yeah, Bob took me over to meet Martin and get a book. He bought this for me and got it signed. So it's got uh, Martin Able 2021 there. And yeah, I'm so excited for this quick flip through um, so you can get a taste of his art if you haven't already. He does, he has like a very um, comic book style 
So if you like that style, if you like pinups, you like comic books, you like cute... Alright, I need to fix this lighting. Okay, that's a little bit better. Just some really, really cool, inspiring stuff. Like, I love the detail. I love the creepy sort of stuff as well. Um, and it's all digital. He also has a Patreon if you want to see how he does things, get little behind the scenes stuff. I love it, it's inspiring and I'm so glad to add this to my art book collection. Are these blind boxes? I've never seen them before, but when we were walking around um, after setup for the con, I saw this at an exhibitor booth and I was like, oh my god, you have to, like, I gave him my money, you have to go get these for me when the convention opened because I've never seen them before, they're so cute and I need them. So they're little uh, foxes with masks and I'm gonna open them now. <gasps> Cute! Oh my god. Oh my god. So we have the little blue and white one, and it's got a little mark. Like, that is so cute. Um, and you just move it to the side or move it to the back when you wanna show the cute little fox face underneath. Um, this is so inspiring. I can't believe I've not seen it before. I don't even know what these are called because there's no English on the packaging. This is cute. This is a purple one. I have to find out the name of these. It's a little purple and white one. There we go. Very cute. Oh. And their little mask. Doesn't quite sit on there as well as the other one. There we go. That's so cute. I love them. And look at their little dinky paws. Ah! <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my God. I'm so glad I got these. I, I wish I had more. I wish I had the whole set. They're so stinking cute. And then I'll go to the very last and expensive thing. So, there was a rule. We drove to Melbourne with our two friends and all my stock in the car and it was very like crammed. It wasn't spacious at all. And so the rule I set was, I'm not gonna buy any plushies. I did not stick to that rule. <laughs> I don't normally buy plushies. Like I'm not a huge plushie buyer because I know they take up room and they're quite expensive. But I saw these and I couldn't resist. So I actually got some Digimon plushies. Here we have a cute, very, very cute little Gilmon. Um, the quality is so cute, like embroidered markings and face. Um, feels super soft like a minky type plushie and um, they're like legit Digimon as you can see very expensive I got a deal because I got a few plushies I just had to have him add him to my Digimon collection next I got because it was part of the deal and I needed like a third and I just thought it was cool uh, considering the other options so we have a black Agumon boy right here Again, super soft and like if you look at the construction of the plushie as well, like a lot of thought has gone into maintaining the shape. The embroidered details are lovely as well, little claws. So yeah, a little black Agumon plushie. And the last one of the Digimon set, which really caught my eye, was this big stinking Digimon. So he is the baby form of Gilmon and I just thought it was so cute. Look at that, I can't even, can't even do it justice. Eee! Um, there was a garden one that I wanted, but yeah, he... There was, there was a few ones there, and these are all, these ones don't have tags, but these are all like really good quality um, Digimon plushies that I've never seen before, never ever, and I had to get them because you just never see Digimon plushies, at least here in Australia. So yeah, this is like my little bit of a taste of Japan because we were meant to be traveling to Japan this year, but that's not gonna happen, so... I feel a little bit less guilty about buying these. Um, and the last one was not my fault. <laughs> we have, oh, I can't even fit him on here. We have a Ganga boy, hang on. There we go, we have a sleeping, very fuzzy Ganga boy. I did not buy him, Danny bought him for me, so I can blame Danny for this one. Um, but he's super soft and squishy. That's his little tag there, Bandai one. Yeah, it was so funny. We were in Critical Hit in Melbourne, which is like the little anime store there. Um, we're walking around like separately because it's a little maze there. 
and I saw the guy that worked there with like something purple under his arm. I'm like, oh, hi, excuse me, is that a Gengar plushie? He's like, oh yeah, here you go. Just hands it to me. I'm like, oh wow, so cute. And like, I knew that I wasn't meant to be buying plushies and I wanted to show Danny. So I look over Danny and he's at the checkout. I was like, oh, okay, he's getting his whatever he's getting. Um, and then he's like trying to be secretive. I'm like, oh, hey, like, have you seen this? He's like, oh, fuck, damn it. <laughs> and I see, like, he's trying to hide from me. He's buying me one. I'm like, oh my God, it was such a weird moment. So that was really cute. So he, I have a collection of Gengar plushies. So he's going to go on the bed with the other Gengars. Pretty much my haul for Supernova weekend. And I think this is the most I've ever bought a convention before because I always go there to sell my own stuff and make money. And I very rarely spend any. If I do, it's mainly on other people or like lots of little stickers and stuff. So it was a really good weekend. I was so happy with these. Like with everything I got, the artists there were amazing. I wish I could have bought more and supported more people. And I can't wait to go back next year in the next con. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little look-see video at um, all of the goodies and artwork that I got. Be sure to follow some artists if you see some things that you like. Um, comment down below what was your favorite thing in my haul. Or did you go to a convention recently yourself? Like what was your favorite thing that you bought? Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep drawing, keep being awesome, and stay safe. Okay, bye!